Senator Black, you have five minutes. Thank you very much, Your Honour, and thank you, Minister, for appearing today. And thank you to your government for all the, the hard work over the last 21 months helping Canadians weather this pandemic. I do have two questions, and I hope we can get to both. Minister, as you know, I'm an advocate in this place on behalf of the agricultural industry, rural communities, and youth. Canadian agricultural fairs and exhibitions have been a substantial and integral part of the fabric of Canadian life and rural communities for centuries, and many have been in existence prior to the Canadian, Canada's Confederation. These time-tested organizations host premier Canadian events and recreational infrastructure that have helped establish and continue to maintain our national identity. There are 743 organizations across Canada that host more than 17,000 events each year. Are, they are undoubtedly some of the hardest hit through this pandemic. Not only do, do, they, do they rely on mass gatherings to generate revenue, that, the majority of that revenue is, it has a seasonal window. They will be the last to be able to fully open and recuperate. These organizations support rural tourism, volunteerism, mental health and youth engagement and economic development. While the list is long of eligible organizations in your bill, there is no mention of fairs and exhibition organizations. Historically, when federal funding programs do not explicitly include fairs and exhibitions, they have fallen through the cracks, especially through the pandemic. Therefore, Minister, could you please clarify whether these organizations will be eligible for the pro proposed program? Uh, thank you for the question, Senator, which is a really important one. So, the proposed regulations state that eligibility would apply to organizations for which more than 50% of their pre-pandemic revenues were earned from carrying out eligible activities. That includes organizing, planning, promoting, hosting, or supporting conventions, trade shows, festivals, or weddings, parties, or similar events. Agricultural fairs and exhibitions would generally fall into this program, provided they meet all the eligibility criteria, including the two key revenue eligibility test, which we have discussed already in some of the other questions uh, today. Um, and I will say that, of course, um, I can't, in this a sort of general conversation, speak to the eligibility of any particular one enterprise or organization. A lot more information would be necessary. It would be wrong of me to make a spur of the moment uh, judgment. And the CRA is best positioned to confirm the eligibility of these businesses. Um, but that's my best high level answer. Senator Black. 